an update on uh, Wilson. A month or so later from my last post. As you can see, he's just tucking into what's left of his food. He loves it. And that's orange stuff, so grated squash. <coughs> <coughs> Do excuse me, I've got a little bit of a chest issue at the moment. I'll do my best to uh, not cough on my way through all, the, through all of this. But yes, he's still getting bigger. And we're enjoying some beautiful sunshine. You can see I've taken the glass out of his viv. So that so he doesn't need it, it's warm enough. And uh, he's now using this as more of a sunbathing room and a food hall and somewhere to go to the loo down there. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, he is still growing. He's filling out and he's just um, about three quarters of the way through a peel now. And um, you see his tail's going to start going soon. And some of his spines have just come off. They just came off as I stroked him. They, they just fell off. And uh, he's, uh, he's enjoying the warm weather. And uh, he's suddenly realised that I'm talking about him and uh, got the phone pointing at him, which he now knows is a means of, um, you know, copying what he does. I think he's actually seen footage of himself and he knows it. He's that smart, I'll tell you. But anyway, he still remains to be really friendly. He's my little baby, aren't you? See, you always like a stroke, don't you, sausage? Yes, you do. Yeah, I'll clean off the bits around your mouth for you. There we go, yeah, yeah, it's better, isn't it? Yeah, so that's what I do, I clean his, I'm always, cleaning excess food off the side of his mouth and he'll sit there and let me do it. He's he's so, well, he's such a beautiful temperament. And to get a temperament on an animal like this, I think, you know, you, you just have to show it a lot of love and constantly. And if you're that sort of like a, you know, a peace loving person, I suppose, you know, you'll find that it'll rub off on him. And, um, you know, I don't excite him or anything like that or get him going. I, I mean, every time I see him and, and pet him, it's always gently like this. And you can see, look at the look on his face, he just absolutely adores it. He's just such a wonderful thing. You know, he's so very precious, very, very precious thing, he really is. And uh, it's my duty to make sure he's comfortable, got everything he wants, and, you know, he's happy. And he does appear to be happy. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to say he's a little bit over four foot now. Um, he's over. He's definitely over 48 inches. The last time I measured him, he was just a tad over, and that was about ooh, a couple of weeks ago. And he's still growing. He's still eating well, and uh, loves his grated squash. And I, I'm having a feeling that's a key to his, his size success so far. He's he's not yet two. He will be soon. Um, I think he's. Uh, I think his birthday's on the 1st of August and um, you know, I think today's around about the 17th or something. No, it's not. It's the, um, I don't know what it is. It's the uh, 26th today, I think, beg your pardon, uh, of July. And um, yeah, he's, uh, he's shortly gonna be, uh, shortly on his second birthday. But you know, this is a four foot viv. And I mean, you can sort of see, you know, you can compare his size to that. It's four foot wide, it's two foot deep, and four foot high. It's too small for him. So what I've actually done is, um, you know, I've put up a, a clamp on heat um, UVB light for him, so he can sit on top of the dresser, and he can sun himself, because he likes to sit up there, it's his main place. And, um, you, know, so on, you know, I'm obviously very conscious he gets his, gets his UV light and the correct ones. So I've got that up there for him. I just sort of clamped it onto my curtain pole and it, it, it does the job. It's only a couple of foot away, so he can regulate how much of it he wants by moving nearer or further from it. So, and he does that himself. He, he's, he self-regulates. He knows what he wants. And it seems strange every time he comes in into his fifth for something to eat, as you can see, there's not a lot left of that. Um, that was a big, massive bowlful when he started. <coughs> um, yeah, he cut, he, he'll eat something in here and then he'll retire right next to his light. It's almost like he knows that he needs that light to aid his digestion, uh, which I find incredible. I don't need to encourage him to do that sort of thing. He, he does it himself. He knows. And that's what I said in my last um, uh, bit of footage was uh, he's a very knowing animal and this is a, a, an absolute example of it. And, um, you know, 
So he's a lot smarter than we think he is. They don't, they look after themselves in a, in a lot of ways, but you know, they were, you know, in captivity, obviously rely on us to provide uh, the correct heat, lighting, moisture, food, things like that. That's our position as uh, captives, I guess. And in my world and in my book, um, he's my responsibility. And um, seeing as he is in captivity, and he doesn't seem to be complaining about it, but I'll make it my mission to make his, uh, his time with us as pleasurable, want for nothing, and as much love and attention as I can possibly give him. And, um, uh, and because of that, um, you know, I've got a very lovely animal. And, um, you know, I seem to, I seem to sort of like ooze this peaceful, I don't know, feeling, I don't know how they pick it up or what, but he does, and my one previous to this did as well. And uh, very similar temperaments, a pair of the last one was a female red, um, and uh, she had trouble with her eggs, and unfortunately she passed away, but nothing much we could do. I spent a fortune on trying to save her, but I, there was nothing we could do. But he's the sort of that was a replacement. We've, I've had him now for about, oh, I'm gonna say, it's coming, it'd be a year in October at I'd have owned him. And so we've had a good nine months together, and so far he's just been bang on, spot on, and no trouble apart from normal mischief and that, which, you know, he will get up to, and he feels like it. But other than that, generally, he's a very placid animal, very peace-loving, and, um, you know, likes an easy life. And uh, likes his affection. He's got his times of day when he prefers it, like in the evenings before he goes to bed. And he normally crashes down about 8, about 8, 8 p.m., and he'll seep through to about half five in the morning. And But he gets up with the birds and... Uh, you know, I often get up a, a few hours later and he's just sitting there waiting for his breakfast, which I, uh, you know, get on with and do. So, but anyway, so here's a, here's a progress report. And he's, as you can see, he's fine and uh, he's still growing. And I think he might slow down a bit now. Um, he had a massive scrum spurt, you know, over the last three, three or four months. And I found it quite incredible. I want, it makes me wonder how big he's actually going to get. Not that I mind, the bigger he gets, you know, I don't mind, fine. If he doesn't grow anymore, fine. You, it's what he is, it's, it's important, not how big he it is. It's, um, it was just amazed me how quick he got to his size, um, quick developer. But he might still do some more growing. I mean, he, he's, he's peeling a lot, and that sort of, to me, is an indicator that he's, um, that he's still growing. If he's constantly shedding his skin, which he seems to be, you know, it's like he's growing out of it and keeps having to pop it off, you know. It's, um, you know, it's amazing. And he's having some pretty big, um, um, shedding uh, uh, sessions, so um, you know, it, it, I think that's got something to do with um, his rapid, rapid growth, and just keeps growing and growing out of his skin, literally. So uh, <coughs> you know, I know a bit about them. I know I wouldn't call myself like a like a, a, a vet on them, but um, you know, I can go by what I've done and looking at him, I can see he's happy, inquisitive. And when he sticks his tongue out and licks his lips like that, he's happy. It normally means he's contented. And, um, you know, um, he seems a very happy animal. And I'll, I'll just proceed with what I'm doing and see what happens. I mean, how big he's going to get is anybody's guess. But there we go. He's on a mission now. He's, he's thought of something. Maybe the last noggins of his food down there. Oh, I thought so. He's wondering. I think that's normally a signal for me to go and get him some more food. And um, I have to go and get him some in a little bit. But he is funny, look at him. And still go in there and finish it off. Wonderful creature. It's so gentle, look. He picks around his food. I like that bit. No, I love that bit there. No, that bit there. No, a bit there as well. He's like that. Such a sweetie. So there's an update on Wilson. <clears throat> uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and please excuse my uh, uh, my chesty cough. I have done my best to hold it at bay, but um, I've been trying to get this done for a little while. And as I've got a little bit of time, I I sort of like jumped at it and um, thought I would get this get this underway. But thanks for your attention, and uh, thanks for your kind comments so far. And I'm glad I'm glad the people who've seen him, you know, uh, uh, like him and love him as much as I do. Thanks again.